Russia has come out claiming that they have made this new fuel that's going to power a Mach 5 hypersonic missile. Now, I'm sure you've heard of mocks and hypersonic and missile stuff all over the place. But I don't think people understand the importance of what this is. Mach 5 would be the fastest thing in the world when it comes to a missile. And what Russia and India are now doing, people better better pay attention to. When I first seen this and reported on what India was doing, I said, hold up. They're doing something that China was doing and even surpassing them when teaming up with Russia. And I'll explain more of that here in a second. But this fuel is what they're talking about. The fuel that's going to make these missiles go hypersonic. Okay? Now, the recipe has been created, they say, and energy accumulated in the fuel will help these vehicles exceed the speed of Mach 5. And that's, that's just crazy. Now, Russia is one of a number of countries, including the U.S., China, and India, that are in a race to develop hypersonic capabilities. Hypersonic missiles travel at least five times the speed of sound, as you can see right here. And NASA categorizes these speeds of hypersonic between Mach 5 and Mach 10 and high hypersonic between Mach 10 and Mach 25. Yes, there can be aircraft out there, so on and so forth, that can go certain speeds, but when it comes to these missiles, you'll see right here, unlike the U.S. and China, both of whom are focused on these boost glide vehicles, Russia and India are seeking to build hypersonic cruise missiles. Now, they have already developed the BrahMos, and this is considered the fastest cruise missile in the world. What do you do about that? They're admitting it. These two have got the fastest cruise missile in the world. If it's the fastest, then you don't have anything that's going to catch it and shoot it down. Because it's not going to catch it. And if they're working to achieve Mach 5 and they're sitting at Mach 3 right now, boy, These other countries out here and their militaries better hope that they're really on top of this. I mean, they've even took the engine out and made it a smaller one, what they call a cramjet engine, that allows combustion to occur in a supersonic airflow, thereby expanding the operating range above Mach 4. That's, that's on this new one, the prototype they've got, and they plan to test that in 2017. So, you know, I just... I want to throw it out there. This is some big time stuff. You're talking of weapons of the future, the fastest on the planet. And if you're going to talk World War III, these are the weapons that are going to be used in it. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu Sifa.